currently we are settled down and then we have ordered uh, what we're going to eat and what we're going to drink so we are starting off with five dishes first mm -hmm. and then uh, since it's happy hour all night long we shall start off with a cocktail yes. so we ordered the Imos Mojito as well as the Sake Mojito Sounds which good, right? um, I was very attracted by it when Jim actually introduced it to uh, me from the shoot last After time his photo shoot, yeah, yes. long, I think three weeks ago or four weeks ago before the drinks and food come there I offer the snack first Moroku is this Moroku? yes I think so cracker it's not those uh, Indian spy Moroku okay. it's but a little bit spicy right, right? Yes. Spiced, not the sharp chili mm. kind of spice. It's gonna be good with beer, so I'm gonna ask for more review later. <laughs> this is one of the cocktail. Is uh, I believe is what sake mojito, and then and this is Imos mojito, their signature mojito. I can smell the sotong ball is very nice, and then this is the fried fried jai jai jai, uh, which is the bean cut skin. Let's try the drink first. Imos mojito. <laughs> Oh, very refreshing. Mm. A strong, intense. I'll have to let them know to put more alcohol, alcohol for me. No, this one has got a very intense alcohol. You should try this one. It is very refreshing. Mmm, good, right? This is good. Yes. This is for alcoholic. It's for me. Imos mojito. And then, I want to share with you something about the sambal. It's homemade. Yes, so if you refer to our earlier vlog about Emos, mm -hmm. um, they made their sauce customized for every dish. Okay, let's try it now. Yeah. I'm going to try the sotong ball first. I will go for the fried bean curd skin first, then there is some chili. Crunchy. Mm. Chili has got a sharp taste. Ah, we have a friend, old friend, is just right behind. In terms of old friend, is that like I know him almost 10 years and his age as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice, it's very spicy. For those that cannot take spicy food, uh, you're gonna skip the sambal, ask for chili sauce or ketchup. Mm. Our friend loved the chai uh, very much, one of yeah. his favorite uh, dish, and then how crispy it is. The sotong ball is very nice when eaten fresh. I think because a lot of times we, <laughs> time we take away, it's a little bit cold and then we don't really heat it up nicely. Mm. But when you eat it right over here, it's really nice. Awesome. This is a uh, beef cube that the other day I came here for the photo shoot and Lynette is the one who refused me to bring this back home mm -hmm. because that, uh, she thinks that for this one, it won't taste good as in dine here. So this is the reason why that we come back here to dine and try the big cube. Wow. It's very juicy. Mm. The seasoning is very light. Mm. Mm. It enhances the natural taste of the beef. So that's come with a small bowl of salad mm -hmm. and then mustard. Like, oh and the mustard oh, over there. Maybe I'm gonna try with the mustard. It's really juicy. Tender. Yeah. Um, and it's not overcooked. I like the fact that it's just lightly uh, marinated. Mm. Very well done. So now I know the reason why that lady don't like me to bring it back. It has to be heated piping hot. Because I think that once you reheat it, it's gonna be like rubbery. Mm. Or, you don't know how, or you don't know how to reheat this. I think this one, the texture is just perfect. But our friend don't eat beef, so that we are going to eat it over here. So what do you think about the sotong ball? Nice, right? Yeah, yeah. show your thumb. <laughs> the next dish that we're having is crispy pork belly. And we come with a special sambal, also homemade sambal from Lynette. Smell nice? Mm, smells really good. Let me try the crispy pork belly with the homemade sambal. Wow. Nice. Oh. oh my god, it's oh. like so tender. It's fried so nicely and there's a very nice crunch to it. Oh. And the sambal is not spicy. Mm. It's actually like they dissolve a lot of lime juice 
on the side, very refreshing. Oh, vinegar. Mm, tastes very good. Perhaps to take away some of the grease. Mm. I remember last time I came here to do the photo shoot. This one really catch my attention. Would you like to try the back first? No, I will take the front because our friend don't eat cheese. Yeah, very troublesome. <laughs> I'll try without the sambal. Mm. Nice, right? Very fresh. <laughs> I'm sure my old friend will like it. Order one more, uh, Imo Mojito. Imo Mojito. And the whole... Mojito. 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 Yeah. It's getting more spicy and spicy now. I got that all the sambal here is very nice. But are you enjoying the food so far? <laughs> I have to say that the grilled squid is a little bit disappointed today. Why? Because the other day that when I bring it back, mm -hmm. it tastes really good. Maybe because we grew it a second time. Mm. So it enhances the char, the char flavor. Yeah. And then um, I will recommend the crispy pork belly is a must order. Mm. And the sotong boy is a must order. Yes. Um. And I, last time when I took away the food, I remember the chicken wing is very nice. Shall we try that if we are not hung, uh, we are, if we are not full yet? I want to check with our friend whether he can eat more or not. Yeah, I think he can. Okay. At least I can. So the menu <laughs> is just very simple right over here. Um, we tried almost half of their food actually. So there are munchies, which is the bar snack, as well as main dishes. Yeah. So uh, the main dishes, we try like majority of them before. Yeah. And what we recommend is the Philly, fish, uh, Philly cheese stick, which we have featured in our earlier vlog. Mm. They do have oyster as well. Mm. So for anyone that having a dating dating here, so gonna order some oyster as well is a good choice. <laughs> so in case they're going back home, oyster will help a little bit. <laughs> so. And they also have the Emo's luncheon meat fried rice. Yeah. It sounds then, very good. Yeah, and then uh, they also have the they also serve the luncheon meat separately as a bar snack. Mm. Oh, Okay, I'm going to order a bihun for our friend that oh, we try to yes, like yes, it yes, very yes. much. The panchit bihun. It's very nice. So I'm going to order that now. So, oh, okay, it's mommy. So very unique mojito right over here. That's cool, right? So I'm going to drink it and I'm going to pour it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what are you want to try to say? Turn the label. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. I like the way how they present this hojito. It's very cool. It it's very Korean. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a shochu mm. with the juice the as presentation well. Wise. So I yeah. think I sh I should not take it up because that the drinks here looks a little bit full, right? Um, I think you should just take out a little bit. Withdraw a little and let the whole garden beer go. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's very risky to do this. Let me drink it a little bit first. Do you give it a good mix? Oh, it's nice. It's very well matched. Really, it's much more refreshing and tasty than the other oh. two. Do you agree? It's, the flavor is more wholesome. It's very unique. It's not just like sweet and alcohol. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a perfect match of those, uh, alcohol food and non-alcohol food together. It's, it's a very rounded feel on your palate. Mm. Whereas um, if you just drink the sake mojito or the emos mojito, right, it's just refreshing. And, and that's it. And this is not too sweet. I mm. like it, the fact that uh, it's a very refreshing cocktail. A beer couple. You see this lady right behind us? Actually, the lady boss, Lina, she gave us a bottle of champagne. It's not prosecco, it's not uh, bubble, blah, blah, blah. It's champagne. Ooh! Oh, sounds of happiness. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then the staff here is very professional in a mask. And then so it's like, it's a environment here. It's a very safe to enjoy a dinner or a drinks right over here. Very cozy as well. Thank you. And then um, the reason why that we come back here to dine because I want to show Sean that actually Lynette, she looks like a Singapore airline crew to me. So, but I asked her the other day. Thank you. She said that she's not. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you, Lynette. So, I uh, hope that any anyone that going to drink in East Coast in Singapore, you'll come here and enjoy the food right over here. Mm. 
Yes, um, Shen Yi Sing Long. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. The amount of the spring roll is a lot. <laughs> Did they keep us extra or it's supposed to be like this? It's, it's a lot, right? <laughs> a lot. Let me see. My gosh. See, I wasn't see, expecting this. So, Our friend was is very <laughs> amused by the sure quantity it's, of it. It's 16 pieces of the spring roll. Can feed an army. <laughs> I think I think they give us extra because uh, um actually Lynette just like give us a special offer. I mean give a bottle of champagne. I believe they do extra spring roll for us. But I have to say that the spring roll is very, very, very nice. nice. Have you tried that Heaven Rest? Of course. Yes. You tried that? I've tried. Yeah, it's very nice. It's totally worth to try. Mm. This is the reason why we order for our friend. Besides the spring roll, the crispy chicken skin came at the same time. And the the sambal, actually the it's a chili, chili sauce, it looks cut different. chili that is um, soaked in, I think, vinegar. Or black pepper. So. Can you try the crunchiness? Oh. Mm. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I think the chili sauce come with the vinegar. It make the chicken skin very refreshing. Mm. It's not that oily at all. Yes, let's, uh, let's let our friend try. And then we're going to try the spicy chicken wing. Yes, it looks really good. Would you like to try it with your hand? Okay. Um. Take one by the side. It smells very nice, and right over here you can see there's a lot of the garlic, dried chili, spring onion. Oh. So well marinated. Have we taken the uh, chicken wing last I, time? I think so, but it's different when you eat it here. It's piping hot, oh, then you taste very different, very right? Nice. Yeah, and then um, the huge garlic beets actually helps to enhance the flavor of the fried chicken. So is there any Dracula or anyone that don't like uh, garlic, so you might skip this. Just order the uh, wing without the spicy version that will be without the garlic. This is our very last dish to order this because that we have enough of amount of alcohol, enough of the light food. I'm very surprised by the huge portion because the last time when it was brought home, it wasn't this size. <laughs> I think I'm going to check with Lynette. Lynette was here just now. I'm sure it's for three person. Yeah. So okay. right over here you can see that a lot of spring onions, chili, cabbage, and of course like the crispy pork belly. Mm. And to add to the refreshing taste, right, to take away some of the grease, they also have a uh, lime yeah, okay. So, so we are going to try it now. Yeah, at the menu, it was saying that it's a bihun. But actually, Sean was believed that this is a tanghun. Very good. Still very home. Um, it, it still retains that same taste that I've tasted. The washroom here is very clean. So you can see that there's a urinal and a toilet bowl right over here. It's a place comfortably that you can discharge. But uh, to take note that if you're going to throw out, try to throw in the toilet bowl. We had a mm. good time right over here. Mm, yes. L Lynette hosts us very well. Yes. Uh, we, we got surprise offer from Lynette. Yes. So, uh, all in all, uh, Amos is like a very cozy bar with a very good drinking and dining experience. Mm. And we thoroughly enjoy our stay over here. And definitely, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I think Lynette can be assured that we will be back very uh, more often. Yeah, so right over here, I would like to suggest and recommend everyone, when you visit this place, Emos, try your best to... Not to knock this, you had to knock, 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 knock. Sorry. Try, uh, try to order the chai er, sotong bo, the crispy pork belly, and what else you like? The spicy uh, wings. Actually, I enjoy the alcohol very much. So uh, especially the one with the beer bottle, which is the, the one. Hojito. So the, all the mojito selections are really nice. And yes. then... Um, they don't add sugar, they add the gula malacca. Yes. Which is something unique of the sugar. That it will make the drink the taste amazingly sugar. nice. Yes. yes. And then uh, also their house pour, the red and the white wines are all very nice as well because it's specially hand uh specially selected by Lynette the owner herself yeah and she makes sure that it's of a certain quality before she can serve it to her customers so that's really great we enjoy everything we do strongly recommend everyone to come here to dine in they have a very clean washroom 
or take away to enjoy the good food at home. Yes, so uh, that's all for today and we thank you so much for watching this far. And of course, as always, we will see you in our next vlog. Bye-bye!